When, when we were looking for a place to buy, you know, we had uh, already rented a little bit in Woodstock, but we were also pretty much fresh off the boat from New York City. And like lots of city transplants, we looked for a place in the middle of nowhere. And we found this place, you know, on the stream across the footbridge, 22 acres, and it's just gorgeous. Um, you know, it's the, I'm not sure if we were aware of it at the time, but looking back on it, one of the things that we really wanted was this proximity to wilderness. You know, and there's bears and porcupines, and I saw a mink, and I saw a marten, and it's really wilderness, like right there. And living uh, in that proximity to wilderness is really a special thing. I commute as little as possible. I'm kind of a homebody. Um, I like to be home with all the things of my work around me. That's where I'm happiest. Uh, but sometimes it can't be helped. I have to go into the city to meet with clients. And you know, I take the train in, train back, and it's just gorgeous. Even the commuting from here is spectacular. Um, the more the stuff is being made around here, the more there's going to be a need for you know, graphic design and advertising and branding and all of that. The number of sort of like creative partners, you know, creative co-conspirators, the number of people who I meet and think, wow, we should work together to make something happen, has really uh, increased a lot. Um, and in the last five years, it's really increased tons. It's gotten to be a, a wonderful place where sort of like every week I meet somebody and think, all right, we gotta work together on pitching this or on doing that or designing this. And that's really nice. It makes it a great atmosphere for a creative guy.